If you've heard of any project management apps, you've probably heard of Trello and Asana. These are two tools that are great for both personal use and for collaborations between teams and even large businesses. So in today's video, I'm gonna help you decide which is better out of the two of them, Trello or Asana. I'm gonna compare a few different things about them, like the features, the pricing, and also who is it best for determining like what your needs are. So let's get right into it. All right, so let's start off by looking at Trello. You can see that its primary interface is very easy to use. It's no nonsense and it's very organized. This allows you to stay very, very focused on what you're doing and it just puts a good view on everything here. And within each board, you can go ahead and click on these little cards here. You can add lists. And within those lists, you can even create these little task cards here. This is sort of the primary view of Trello here. This is generally how the whole thing kind of works and looks. While you obviously do have your other board, so you've got your table view, you have all of these views here. The board one is generally what you're going to be using most. Now, if we look at Asana, you can see that the sort of base layout is a little bit less good than Trello. Uh, you can see here if we go to one of these boards here, they still have this board view. Um, but in my opinion, it's slightly not as good looking overall. But Asana does have a lot more um, views available on their free plan. Whereas if you want some of these other views that you can see here on Trello, you do have to go ahead and upgrade. So with that being said, let's talk about who should go for which software. Now, in my opinion, Trello is much better for individuals. You can see it can be used by teams, but there are some limitations that make it a little bit harder for big teams. You can't really assign tasks to individual people, just like this. Instead, you have to have members who are tagged and notified about progress. So it's a little bit more difficult to go ahead and tag tasks and that kind of thing inside of Trello. On the other side, Asana allows you to easily go ahead and assign tasks to people. You can see I can assign it to a specific user here. So that's much better for a larger team. You've also got things like priorities and you can sort tasks by things like upcoming, overdue and completed. But for Asana, the team stuff doesn't end there. You actually got things like messaging. And this is quite useful because it allows you to go ahead and message team members directly in the app. So you don't have to use any third party software like Slack, for example. You can go ahead and you can have an inbox directly in here, which allows you to do a lot of different features such as tagging the different projects, different things that you're working on. Um, so it just makes it a little bit more organized and this is a feature that Trello does not have. So it's quite a cool feature actually that they have here. Asana's plan structure is catered more towards large teams than individuals too. It's got a free personal plan that supports unlimited projects, whereas Trello's free plan only allows you to have 10 shared boards. And Asana has these cool reporting features so these are very useful for teams and that kind of thing. You can see here you've all these different reporting features, which Trello also does not really have as well. It does have some built-in reports, but they are very bare bones, even if you pay for them. So that's something to take into account here. Something you'll notice here is that Asana does have a lot of project templates. There's tons here for things like sales pipeline, all these different things here. So there's a lot of different templates here, which are pretty cool. And you can even go and find inspiration for some. So you can see there's so many different ones for your needs here, which is pretty useful. But on the flip side, Trello has more automation features. So you can set up these automations, which just make your life a little bit easier. You've got all your stuff up here that you can go ahead and do. You have got these uh, bits here. So you can connect it all up to one place with apps and that kind of thing. Now let's talk about AI features, as AI is obviously something that is becoming very popular recently. So Asana's AI transforms projects, while Trello's AI streamlines tasks with basic AI. 
So they both have an understanding that AI is going to be something which is heavily integrated into their platforms in the future. And they have both got AI in them. For, for um, Trello, they have their AI on their premium plan and above, and it is still in beta. So you're going to have to go ahead and pay for this. Now, for Asana, it has AI, and this is also available on all of the paid tiers, and it offers things like smart summaries of projects and that kind of thing. With this one, Trello, you can go ahead and draft ideas, come up with ideas, that kind of thing. So overall, Asana's AI capabilities seem a little bit more robust for now at least. This could change in the future because they're both sort of battling against each other in terms of going ahead and getting the AI features. Let's take a look at the pricing here. Trello has a free plan here, which gives you limited features. Asana also has a free plan here. Now, the most basic plan that's paid you can get for Trello, $5 a month per user. And for Asana, it's $10.99 a month per user. So you can see this is more expensive. And then if you want their um, premium features on Trello, it's $10 a month. And if you want the advanced ones on Asana, it's $24.99 a month. Now, if we go over to the business and enterprise ones, they do have these features here, which you can go ahead and purchase if you want. And they have them here, which is cheaper overall. So Trello, Trello is going to be a cheap option in general. And you can go if you want to review the differences between them. So Trello versus Asana, which one should you go for? Here is my final thoughts. Trello is better for individuals who are looking to uh, project manage small projects that they have for themselves and people that want built-in automation and people who are on a small team or are on a budget. On the other hand, Asana is better for people who love lists, for larger teams, teams that need a variety of reporting options and templates, people that need some AI features, and people who want more views on the free plan. So that is basically my comparison between the two the slightly different features that they have and why you might want to pick one over the other. If you think I missed anything out that you think is important and I should add, please let me know down below in the comment section. And if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below that it helped. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.